Tēnā koe tau katoa. Tēnā koe tau. He mihi aroha tēnei kia koe tau katoa. Greetings to you all. Greetings of love to you all. Very nervous, so. <laughs> I'm the result of thousands of ancestors. Every elder to me is a walking library. When that elder is no longer with us, that library disappears as well. But I'm fortunate that I lived in that library. My grandmother raised me at birth. Moreira, ngā kuia kei kone, ngā kuia katoa. All the grandmothers here, I acknowledge you. He Māori au, I am Māori. He tangata whenua au. I am a person of the land of Aotearoa. New Zealand. I am the Manuiri. I am the visitor on your land. And I acknowledge your land for receiving me. And my whanau. And my family who are with me today. My journey began 64 years ago in a small fishing village in New Zealand and brought me here today to stand on your beautiful land amongst you beautiful people. For 63 years of my life before I got here on the other side of the planet, every time the words indigenous, first nations, native were mentioned, I automatically thought the colors brown and black. And then I arrived on this land and I'm living proof that life begins at 63, 64. It was here that I came to the realization. I woke my wife up at 2.30 in the morning because I thought I'd made the greatest discovery. That the indigenous First Nations, native people on this land have white skin. So since I've been here, I have always acknowledged you people on this whole continent as tangata whenua, people of the land. I invite every indigenous nation to recognize the color white. Whenever those words are mentioned, Indigenous, First Nations, Native, the colour white must be included, otherwise we are not complete. The time is now to acknowledge this. North, I've been speaking to the people there and saying, Recreate, I've been told you've lost your ancient culture here, and I mean up north, and I'm saying that's not true, it's in your DNA. Yes, look that way and celebrate other indigenous cultures. 
don't take them because yours is right in front of you. I'm so fortunate I'm on a land, I'm in a, in a place where you know who you are. Many parts of Europe, they don't, they're searching. And as I say, while you're looking at other indigenous cultures, celebrate those cultures, respect those cultures. If you receive a key, then look in front of you because the door to their ancient culture is right there. But that door will not open as they're on this journey, but looking the other way. And by acknowledging being Tangata Whenua, Indigenous First Nations, Native, by acknowledging that, your own Whenua, your own land, will open and reveal its secrets and its ancient knowledge. Because that knowledge is ancient and it's pure, waiting to be acknowledged. We have a broken world and we must unite and admit our past mistakes and I say that because as an indigenous man we are not innocent. We must admit our mistakes as well. That's the only way we can move forward together as one with no blame. I've come across people with white skin having guilt cast upon them. That's not right, because as I said, we are not innocent. So it's up to us to, to acknowledge that and move forward together instead of casting blame. That's the only way we can move forward. We live in a mono existence now. I know people in Australia who have neighbours, they've lived there for 30 years and don't know who their neighbours are. But growing up in a tribal environment, if one member of the tribe feels pain, the whole tribe feels that pain. If one member experiences joy, the whole tribe experiences that joy. Every elder is grandfather or grandmother. Every elder is auntie or uncle. Every child is brother, sister and cousin. However, we still know who we are. We still know our roots. That's the tribal environment that we've lost. But many are meeting over here, are bringing it back. Um, I recognize Kotahi Te one land, not man-made borders. I recognize peoples, tribes, rather than different nations, different countries. And I recognize one identity, Tangata Whenua, 
people of this land. And I acknowledge you people as tangata whenua. I'm so honoured to be amongst your presence. Our children and our grandchildren it's our responsibility to pass down our knowledge our great achievements and our mistakes to pass down to our children and our grandchildren because they are the future. And as a, a video earlier on this afternoon with the children walking up to strangers and talking to them, whenever a child or a grandchild speaks, that's our, our future speaking. But most times we don't listen to our future because we think we know better. But by passing down all our knowledge to the grandchildren, we're reaching them. We're passing that knowledge into a state of purity and innocence. And that's where that knowledge can come through, come back through, from purity and innocence. And that's why in my culture, the grandparents raise the first grandchild, because that first grandchild continues to pass down, as in my case, I'm an ancestor in waiting, so I'll be passing my knowledge down to my first grandchild when he or she is born. I'm so honoured to have been here to to listen and to see the other speakers who have been so inspirational to me. I, I would have been happy to be part of the, the audience just sitting here listening to them because everything was woven together. We call weaving raranga, the weaving of the energies, the weaving of the people, weaving of the different tribes and different races, different nationalities, it's weaving all of that into one. And then of course the future, as um, other speakers have spoken about, and as I said, our children, our grandchildren. <laughs> However, one thing I was very, uh, which started me thinking well was this gentleman here showed me as I listened to him that I'm standing on a land where there is resistance my people are known for our resistance we fought for our land our culture, sometimes we win the battle, but we never win the war. However, we have a whakatauki, a Māori proverb, which, and I must acknowledge you for that, our whakatauki, I'll say it in Māori first, is kaoe mate whike, mate ururo, which means don't die like an octopus die like a hammered shark. What that represents is that no matter what challenges life throws at you, instead of rolling over and accepting it, the hammerhead shark will fight and continue fighting right through until it reaches through, breaks through and overcomes the challenges. That's the whakatauki that I've lived by all my life and continue to. And which is one of the connections. We arrived, my family and I arrived in, in Portugal yesterday. We did the road trip. And 
as soon as we hit the Portuguese border, my wife felt emotional. And we just felt warmth. We felt old energies off your land. And this is driving in the car. Old energies, but cruisy energies. They were not, they were, we didn't sense any stress or anything, and it was just an absolute pleasure to experience the energies of your land. And then, of course, to be amongst the people. Um, that, that's what uh, has made us fall in love with your land. The first thing my wife and daughter said to me this morning when we woke up, we don't want to leave Portugal. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll certainly be back. I must thank Sandra and all the TEDx team for actually enabling me to be here speaking to you people because quite often wherever I've been in Europe I go to places and I think what am I doing here? I wait for the reasons and of course today I've had many many reasons to see why I'm standing here today. I see I've run over time, so uh, um, I'll leave you with one more fukatoki, one more proverb, which I'll say in Māori first and then I'll uh, uh, translate it into English. If I could speak Portuguese, I would have happily done it in Portuguese. E fa ngā kōkonga o takufari. Te taha wairua, te taha tinana, te taha hene ngaro, te taha whānau. Ka hinga taku whare, ka hinga taku, ka hinga te tahi kōhonga, ka hinga taku whare. There are four corners to my house, the spiritual, the physical, the emotional and family. If one corner of my house falls, my whole house falls. Thank you so much for your warmth.